Matthew chapter 2 from verse 1 to 3. And it reads, Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod, in, in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and are come to worship him. When Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. May the Lord bless this reading in your hearts, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 The title of our message is The Leading Star. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. As we read from Matthew 2, chapter 2, verse 1 to 3, it tells us of wise men that came from the east and were led by the star, by the leading star, and then they came to Israel and left the star, went to Jerusalem. It led them all the way from the east. And as long as they followed the star, they were moving surely. Amen. Then they now left the star and went to men, they went to Herod. And they saying, where is he born king of the Jews? And then he said, Herod and the whole Jerusalem were troubled because they are not aware of these information. They are, they, it does not be revealed to them. And so there's where the problem was. And so that's why God is saying to us that there is a, the leading star that we should follow. And when we follow the leading star, we'll be walking surely. Amen. And he will lead us to the truth. Yes. But if we leave this leading star and go to man, then we will be behaving foolishly. Say that they left this leading star, don't know where, how far they lived, or the place they were coming from will be quite far this time. They traveled all that distance and never missed their way. As long as they follow the leading star, which God gave to them, not man. And now they left this leading star and went to man. But that's not the plan of God for us. He wants us to follow the leading star he has given to us. Amen. Says as long as we do so, we'll be walking correctly. And now it tells us that eventually the wise up, these wise men from the east, they now turn again to the leading star in Matthew chapter 2, verse 9 and 10. And when they had heard the king, they departed, and lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them, till you came and stood over where the young child was. Amen. Hallelujah. Say so that when they left, Men left her out, then they saw the star. Say so when we leave men, leave human beings, we will see the star which God gave to us to lead us, to bring us to the truth. Jesus says, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. No one can come to the Father except by me. And so he says that if we leave this one that says, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life, and we follow another or follow some other people, we cannot arrive. So when they departed from Herod, from men who were troubled, then they saw the star. In verse 10, when they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. 
He said, it is joy of the whole world. He said, it's not just ordinary joy, but exceeding great joy. The leading step brings great joy to your heart, to everyone's heart. And that is what God is calling us to so that we come to this leading step that leads surely. You know, when he lead you, lead you no matter the situation. The psalmist says, Oh, shepherd of Israel, thou would have led Joseph like a flower, thou would have dwelt between the cherubim, shine forth. He is a light. Is that when he will lead you? You know, when he was leading Joseph, everything went well. No matter the attack they tried to against Joseph, he could not stop him. He was moving. And now he's saying that when they saw this time, they were so happy. They were filled with exceeding great joy. God wants us to see this star. But he said he has a problem. The problem is what is leading us. That's why he said this by prophet Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 9, verse 16. For the leaders of these people caused them to err, and they that are led of them are destroyed. So the problem we have today is what is leading us. He said the leaders, other things leading us is what is causing us to go wrong. What made the wise men that were walking where to go wrong was that they went to men. And then those who are led that way is the way of destruction. That we should come the way of the leading star. We should come the way of the word of God. You know that word of God is the leading star. There's none else. He is the same. God gave us this leading star to lead us. And to lead us all the days of our life. He does not end. You know the star was always there. The fact that they left the star did not remove the star. It was always there. Just like in the night, during the night, we don't see the sun. The sun is still there. It is the earth that turned away from the sun. That's why there is darkness. And so it says that when they left the star, they fell into darkness. That when we leave this star God gave to us, that God gave us the Bible to lead us to God. Jesus says, if you continue in my word, you are my disciples indeed. You will know the truth. The truth will make you free. So that star that led the wise men from the east was symbolic of the Bible today. Amen. The word of God is that day star as we study in the Sunday school. The day spring that lead us to God. And he has come. He's visited us from up on high. The word of God was made flesh, which is why we have Christmas today. The, to shine the light on us. He said, he that followed me will not walk in darkness. You have the light of life. Amen. What light? The light of God. Yes. He will lead you to the true God. And, you know, he said, the leaders, what is leading people, leading us is causing the confusion. And the, the scripture tells us this in Isaiah concerning the faith leading of Satan and what God said concerning him in Isaiah chapter 14 verse 12 to 14 however thou falling from heaven O Lucifer son of the money however thou called down to the ground which did weaken the nations then Satan is the one weakening people was weakening making them weak can follow the truth but the truth today, the scripture is saying to us that he has fallen. He is not to lead anyone. He cannot lead anymore. He is only those who allow him to lead them. He's leading. In verse 13, For thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the size of the north. I will ascend above the hearts of the cloud. I will be like the most high. He is not the most high. 
is he can hear what the scripture is telling us the Satan want to become the leading star he says i will exalt my throne above the stars of god i will be the leader over all of the stars but he's falling he has been pushed down you can also push him down from your life today Amen. remove them as the wise man finally departed from herod and from men that is how to remove all evil leading and then come to the leading star the leading star says that satan is falling the leading star says that all others are fake leading except i am the one the good shepherd jesus says and so that's why god gave us the holy scriptures to lead us and everyone that is of the scripture the scripture make them star we everyone that is leading people to the truth of god is like a star that led those wise men oh hallelujah and that's what in the book of daniel tells us in daniel chapter 12 verse 3 and they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament and they that turn many into righteousness as the stars forever and ever Amen. this is what satan is boasting that he will exalt his throne above the stars of god you know every child of god including the holy angels they are stars is god that made them stars so because they lead people to the truth to the leading star they shine Amen. because they lead people to the leading star they are wise yes. as the wise men you see that's why they're called wise men came from the east so those who are led by the leading star are called wise people because he is the only wise god the true god the god of the bible is the wise god and so he says that those who lead people to the truth of the bible they shine they shine as light because the light of god is upon them they are light carrier they are telling people to the truth turning hearts to the truth see what jesus said himself in revelation chapter 22 verse 16 i jesus have sent my angel to testify unto you these things in the churches i am the root and the offspring of david and the bright and money star what a living star he says that all this testimony you are reading the bible i am the one that sent my angel i'm the one that sent the prophets i am the one that sent the apostles i am jesus the leading star if now you can follow me he said of john he said john was a bright and shiny light john the baptist and you were willing to rejoice in his life for a season but i have a greater light the, the very words in the bible is my light jesus says it will lead you to me when you follow the scriptures he said you will come to me Amen. they told the religious he said you search the scriptures and then you think you have eternal life but they are dead that testify of me and so like the wise men coming from the east god is calling us today that we should be wise we should follow the living star Jesus says, I am the bride and money star. That is, the star is here with us today, is in the book. So if you follow him, you will arrive. That the word of God is in the Bible. And this same word of God came as a human. On, as you say, on the Christmas day when he was born on earth, does not matter if some people argue about the day that is not the issue the issue is that the word of god was made flesh and dwelt among us and he was called emmanuel god with us and so he's saying that i am the bright and money star that when you follow me you will not walk in darkness Amen. Hear what he says. The scripture says, I am the bride and money star, the beginning star, the leading star, the star that will lead you. And when he leads you, he will lead you to the right way. 
He will lead you to where God is. Say that when these wise men follow the star, they came to where the child was. The star brought them to the exact location where the young child was, and then he rejoiced. And so that's why God is saying to us that he's, he gave us his word so that the word of God will bring us to where he is. Amen. That God is a spirit. That spirit gave us the Bible. Now if we must come to him, he said the only way we can come to him is through his word. That the God we are looking for is in his word. And that if we must come, we must not come through a medium. We must not follow another system that can never bring us to God. We should come to him. And that if we come to him, we come to the right way. We come to he that will not lead us astray. We come to he that will not distress us. Amen. And that's why there's joy today. It brings joy. Say the people who were sorrowing before. You know, when they went to Herod, the wise men, when Herod and Jerusalem is in trouble, so the trouble has transferred to them. They are also in sorrow. But we say as soon as they left Herod, left men who were distressed in Jerusalem, and they saw the star, joy feed their heart. God wants us to leave the system of men, the system of sorrow, and see the system of God. That God has given you hope, giving us hope. He said that hope is Christ. That hope is the word of God. That hope is the good news of the Bible. That God so loved us, he gave us his son. Amen. He said, no one can deny you of this. You can receive this joy today. And that's why St. Peter said this in Second Peter chapter 1, as we study a bit in the Sunday school, hear what he says in 19 and 20. We have also a more sure word of prophecy. Where unto you do well, that you take heed as unto a light that shineth in a dark place Amen. until the day dawn and the day star arise in your heart. Apostle Peter says, we have a more sure word of prophecy which we are to follow. It is like that star that was shown to the wise men of the east. Say so it's shining more and more. In this dark world. And then if you take to this one, it will bring you to where God is. Amen. Not physically, but in your heart. It will take your heart. This light guides the heart. It will take your heart from dead places, from dark places to the place of light. It will bring you to the dwelling place of the Most High. Where God is, you know, God dwells in light. In him, there's no darkness at all. He said that light, as Peter says in verse 20, is the scripture. Amen. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scriptures of any private interpretation. Mm -hmm. So once you enter into the scripture, you have entered light. Mm -hmm. That's why he, everything about him is day. Yeah. He's the day's man. That's not natural day. He's the day spring. The day star, the morning star, the leading star. He will, he will break in your heart. And then darkness will end. Amen. All ignorance about God will end. You come to believe in the Bible. You come to see the God of Abraham. That is a great secret. It's a mystery. That when you hear, I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, is the God of the Holy Bible. That appeared to Abraham and changed him, he lighted up on him. And then he said, That same God can light up on you today. He said, When he lights upon you, darkness will leave your heart. I do worship him, will leave your heart. Every fake herald that you were giving yourself to will leave your heart. You will not go to men again. You come to this shower of prophecy. You come in a time and time again. You wake up in the morning, you wake up in this bright light. You have understanding. You pick up the Bible, you are reading it, you know that he is that day dawn and the day start. You say, I've entered the day today. Let it be so from now on. Because that's why he came. 
Jesus came so that he would turn our eyes from darkness. He would remove darkness from us. That's why we have Christmas. He came today so that he will turn us from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of his dear son, the kingdom of light. He will turn us from the dead flesh to the word of God. That the word of God has come. He has given us understanding that we may know him that is true. That we are in him that is true. Even in his son, Jesus Christ. That this Bible is the true God and eternal life. Now he says that many of his people are destroyed because of lack of knowledge. So they have left him. Can you imagine these men that were moving well left the star and then went to follow men? Are you moving well? Were you moving well that you leave the Bible? You now give yourself a human being, give yourself to some great man. He said that is that way that we should follow the leading star. That is the significance of today. That Jesus came as that true light. Amen. The Bible light. Yes. So that it will be shining in any generation. It can shine in your home today. Amen. You see, when it is shining, it will be shining not only in you, you also become a carrier of it. Amen. You know, when those wise, wise men, when they finish, they carry the news. And then went to tell that we have seen him. And so that others will come to that truth. And so that's why God is showing us the true Christ. That the true Christ is this sure word of prophecy, which many have taken away. He said, don't do so. Bring him to your home. Let this day be a day that you remember that the word of God was made a human. That the word of God is not ordinary. That same word of God we have in the Bible today as a testimony. That of the truth, he is our God, he is our guide, he will lead you all the days of your life. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, what a God we serve. Come and see him as you have seen him. Let the joy fill your heart today as you carry on rejoicing. Amen. Going on rejoicing like the shepherd in the fields. They were going on, they were rejoicing, Amen. singing. And praising God and say, Come and see the light, the light of God. Come and see the light of oh, Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Jesus is the light, the light of God. Come and see the light of oh, Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Is the Bible light? Is a wonderful light. Is it this Bible light? When he enter you, light will enter you. Amen. It will give you understanding, even to be simple. It will be working surely. So we are going to pray. That Jesus is not imagination. He is a true leading star. Amen. He will lead you. He will lead you anywhere, anytime. So we are going to pray as so God, as you have shown to us, you have given us revelation. That this Bible is that leading star that led the whole multitude in the wilderness 40 years in the night, turned to a pillar of light, pillar of fire. And then, when anything came to pursue them, including Pharaoh, he blinded the enemy. Yeah. Oh Lord, let this light blind all sickness, blind anything pursuing any one of us this year. He said, He's going to follow you to the new year. He's not going to follow you. He's yeah. Light of God, put them in total darkness, and then you shall escape and cross to the other side. Pray in Jesus' mighty name, Almighty Savior, eternal life.